live stream. Grace and peace to you in this time of trial and transition. Tonight we will worship. Tonight we will read God's word and listen for God's voice. Here's a couple of things that you can do right now at home to prepare yourself uh, for what we're going to do tonight. Number one, go ahead and grab your Bible. Grab your Bible or open up your Bible app to Matthew chapter 4. Um, also, grab something to write with and um, grab something to write on. We're going to be listening um, and believing that God's going to speak some words to us. Um, he might speak them to you, and we're going to write those down. Um, and then add RCC live to your contact list. Here's the number right here. It will be on your screen. Um, the number is 424-250-0484. We're going to be reading and we're going to be reflecting and we're going to be believing that God's going to speak to us. Um, you can text at any time um, something that maybe God puts on your heart or shows you tonight. Um, at the end of our service, we're going to be reading those and I believe that that's going to be a powerful time where we realize how connected we are in this time where we're social distancing, but we're not, uh, we're not separated. Uh, in the spirit, God's, God's bind, bound us together. This is a time of creative, corporate gathering. Um, so I'm going to pray, and then we're going to worship, and then we're going to get into some Bible reading and some, um, some silence and some listening. Um, so join me in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are with us in every moment. We thank you that these crazy moments and feelings that we're experiencing are not too big for you. We thank you that you're never surprised. We thank you that this doesn't scare you. We thank you that you have a plan to do big and wonderful things in us and through us in every season and especially times of turmoil like this. So God, I pray that you would help us to render our hearts completely to you tonight. I pray that as we worship, it would feel as if we're all together and with, 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 with hundreds of thousands of other saints as if we're, we're going to be in heaven and that we would be joined together and we would just feel your presence and feel each other's energy um, and that we would just give all of ourselves and all of our hearts. And God, I pray that you would speak to us tonight. I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Be the wind inside my sails, 
The anchor in the waves, oh, he is my song. And let the king of my heart be the fire inside my veins. The echo of my days, oh, he is my song. Cause you are good, good, oh.
just like you do God, I look to you You're where my help comes from Give me wisdom You know just what to do And I will love you, Lord, my strength And I will love you, Lord, my shield And I will love you, Lord, my rock Forever, all my days I will love you, God God, I look to you, I won't be overwhelmed Give me vision to see things like you do God, I look to you, you're where my help comes from Give me wisdom you know just what to do And I will love you, Lord, my strength And I will love you, Lord, my shield And I will love you, Lord, my rock Forever all my days I will love you, God. Sing hallelujah. And hallelujah, our God reigns. Hallelujah, our God reigns. Oh, hallelujah, our God reigns forever. Never alone 
You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. And I've seen many searching for answers far and wide. But I know that we're all searching for answers. Only you provide, cause you know just what we need before we say a word you're a good good father it's who you are it's who you are it's who you are and i'm loved by you it's who i am it's who i am it's who i am You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. To us, you are perfect, Lord. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all. So undeniable, I, I can hardly speak in peace. So unexplainable, I, I can hardly think as you call me. Deeper still as you call me. Deeper still as you call me, deeper still in love, 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 you're a good, good father, it's who you are, it's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you, it's who I am, it's who I am. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. To us. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways to us. God, we thank you that, um, that you are continually drawing us deeper. That this is time to draw near to you. To use this extra time that we have to tune in allowing your words to be the truth that we cling to you and listen to you so we thank you for speaking to us we thank you for giving us your word and that we get to be present with you God in Jesus name Amen Well, Remembrance Community Church, friends and family, if you're just joining us, welcome to our live stream. Tonight, we're going to be worshiping, we're going to be praying, we're going to be reading the scriptures, and we're going to be listening for God's word. 
And then we're going to be sharing with each other um, some of the things that God's put on our heart. So make sure you're, um, you're ready to text. Uh, the number's right here uh, uh, on, your sh on my little sheet here. Um, you can text at any time. I've already gotten some text, um, some of you letting us know that you're joining in, so, uh, so I'm welcome. Before we go any further, I just this wasn't planned, but I'm just feeling the, the Spirit kind of uh, stirring and, and, and offering this idea that He wants to use us right now. And not just us in this live stream, but you, wherever you're at, on your couch. Um, so I just want to give you this opportunity. The first three people that come into your mind, I want you to pray for them right now. You never know how God might use it. So I'm just going to give you a moment. First three people, go ahead and let's pray right now. If you're still praying, keep praying, but maybe uh, at some point after the service, you just send them a text and let them know you're praying for them. You never know how God might use something like that. Um, tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to do an ancient practice that the church has used in church history for over a thousand years, and it's called Lexio Divina. Uh, Lexio Divina is uh, Latin for divine reading, um, and it is a practice of hearing from God through the reading of the scriptures. In other words, we're going to be using the scriptures to pray. And so we're going to be reading from Mark chapter 4, verse 35 through 41. I'm going to read the passage out loud. It will be on the screen um, for you to read along. We're going to be reading from three different versions. I'm going to read out loud three times, and after each reading... You're going to be given some time, and my encouragement is listen for a word or a phrase that God, God might have for you from the passage. So we're going to take a moment as we begin just to prepare our hearts. The goal here in preparation is to ready our hearts and minds to hear from God, to be awake to His presence and alert to the Spirit's leading. So let's begin. I want you to take a moment, calm your heart, calm your mind right now. Some of you might be asking, how? That's not easy for me. <laughs> Maybe start with considering these two questions. How am I feeling in this moment? It is okay to be honest. It is okay if it's ugly. It is okay if, if it isn't something that you want to say to anyone else out loud. Before God alone, how am I feeling in this moment? And I want you just to hear God speak over you. It's okay. I'm here with you. We'll walk through this together. The next question you might ask yourself is, where is my heart at right now? Is it fearful, worried, or anxious? Maybe it's numb, or even prideful, or revengeful. Where is my heart at right now? And I want to invite you to say a quick prayer and ask God to help you be present and hear from him in these moments. Sometimes it's hard to be in the moment. Don't try to do it on your own. Pray and ask God to help you be present and hear from him right now. And I'm going to give you a moment to do that all right now.
The passage will be read out loud three times in three different versions. Each time, listen for a word or phrase that God might have for you from the passage. Reading of God's word from the Christian Standard Bible, Mark chapter 4, verse 35 through 41. On that day, when evening had come, he told them, let's cross over to the other side of the sea. So they left the crowd and took him along since he was in the boat, and other boats were with him. A great windstorm arose, and the waves were breaking over the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. He was in the stern, sleeping on the cushion. So they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, don't you care that we're going to die? He got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Silence, be still. The wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Then he said to them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? And they were terrified and asked one another, Who then is this? Even the wind and the sea obey him. I'm going to give you another moment to reflect and write down your thoughts. What words or phrases stood out to you? Write those down. Perhaps consider these questions as you sit before the Lord. Why might God have pointed out those words to you? How might that word or phrase connect to your life right now? Why might you need to hear that right now? Take a minute to reflect. As we continue to look to God's word for transformation and not just information, we'll read one more time, same passage, this time from the NIV. That day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There were also other boats with him. A furious squall came up, and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up rebuked the wind and said to the waves, quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, who is this? Even the wind and the waves 
obey him. We're going to give you another minute to reflect on this reading uh, from the second passage, second time through this passage. Write down any thoughts that come to you from this passage. What words or phrases stood out to you this time? Were they the same as the first reading or different? Sit with those words before the Lord. How did hearing the passage again make you feel? What might the Lord be saying to your heart right now? Take a moment to think and write down your thoughts. Here's the same passage, third time through, from the Passion Translation. Later that day, after it grew dark, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross over to the other side of the lake. After they had sent the crowd away, they shoved off from the, sh from the shore with him as he had been teaching from the boat and there were other boats that sailed with them. Suddenly, as they were crossing the lake, a ferocious tempest arose with violent winds and waves that were crashing into the boat until it was all but swamped. But Jesus was calmly sleeping in the stern, resting on a cushion. So they shook him awake, saying, Teacher, don't you even care that we are all about to die? Fully awake, he rebuked the storm and shouted to the sea, Hush, calm down. All at once, the wind stopped howling and the water became perfectly calm. When he turned to his disciples and said to them, Why are you so afraid? Haven't you learned to trust yet? But they were overwhelmed with fear and awe and said to one another, Who is this man who has such authority that even the wind and waves obey him? We're going to take another moment to be still. What stood out to you this time? Write it down. Consider these questions before the Lord. How did hearing the passage a third time make you feel? How did the word or phrase that originally stood out to you make you feel when you hear it again? What is your response to God based on what you have heard and encountered? Take a moment.
Now we're going to spend some time in worship. I hope this will be a time that you feel you can draw near to the heart of the Father. If you want to lay down and let the words and the music minister to you, if you want to stand and raise your hands and sing, if you want to if you want to lay down prostate, whatever it is that you feel you need to do in your worship right now is okay. And please text us any thoughts that came to you as we, as we read and listened for God's voice. God may have given you something that was for someone else who is listening. God may solidify something in your heart as you obediently share what he showed you. Share with us how you experienced this time, how you heard from the Lord, or any other takeaways from this time by texting 424-250-0484. And now let's turn our hearts, our minds, to the goodness of God as we worship him alone. You hear every cry, you're listening, no matter what state, my heart is in you, are faithful to answer with words that are true and the hope that is real as I feel your touch. You bring a freedom to all that's within In the safety of this place I'm longing to pour out my heart To say that I love you Pour out my heart To say that I need you Pour out my heart to say that I'm thankful, pour out my heart. To say that you're wonderful. And here I am once again. I pour out my heart for I know that you hear every cry you listening no matter what stay my heart is in you are faithful to answer with words that are true and a hope that is real as I feel your touch oh, you bring a freedom to all that's within in the safety of this place I'm longing to pour out my heart to say that I love you pour out my heart to say that I need you pour out my heart Say that I'm thankful, pour out my heart. To say that you're wonderful, pour out my heart. To say that I love you, pour out my heart. To say that I need you, pour out my heart. To say that I'm thankful, pour out my heart. To say that you're Safety of this place. In the safety of this place. 
I'm longing to pour out my heart to say that I love you. Pour out my heart to say that I need you. Pour out my heart to say that I'm thankful. Pour out my heart to say that you're wonderful. You are wonderful. Take a moment to remember who God is. And who I am There you go Lifting my load again Take a moment to remember Who God is and who I am There you go Lifting my load again Take a moment to remember who God is and who I am. There you go, lifting my Lord again. Take a moment to remember who God is and who I am. There you go, lifting my Lord again. Come upon the yoke of Jesus This yoke is easy, it's burden is so light No longer am I held by the yoke of this world Come upon the yoke of Jesus This yoke is easy, it's burden is so light It's burden is so light this burden is so light This burden is so light But you're my load You're lifting my load again You're lifting my load You're lifting my load again You're lifting my load You're lifting my load Yoke is easy, it's burden is so light. No longer am I held by the yoke of this world. Come upon the yoke of Jesus. This yoke is easy, it's burden is so light. His burden is so light. His burden is so light. His burden is so light. Your love carries, your love carries me through all the valleys in the darkest places. Your love carries, your love carries me through all the valleys in the darkest places. In my load again, you lift in my load, you lift in my load again. My 
I dare not trust the sweetest fame But wholly trust in Jesus' name ready to end, but um, if you uh, just wanted to remind you guys that you can text your thoughts in um, that you have to the number on the screen, and we'll, uh, we'll spend some time listening to that, so won't you pray with me? Lord, um, we thank you for meeting us, uh, each of us, in our separate homes and uh, our separate families, and uh, Lord, but connecting us. Um, God, we thank you for the internet right now. Um, and the ways that you have connected us through that, Lord. So uh, would you just continue to redeem this time um, and continue to draw us in deeper and deeper with you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Well, I hope that this time of worship, this time of reading slowly and listening for God's voice has been meaningful for you. I was just thinking last night around this time, we were all hearing news and we were wondering, what is this going to mean? What is this going to look like? And most of us went to bed with a sense of uncertainty. And I hope tonight, maybe even just from our time together, that we've been reminded of who God is, who's on the throne. I pray that we are going to go to bed tonight with a sense of peace and a sense of of just feeling God's love and God's voice saying, I got this. <laughs> I want to read. We've gotten quite a few, and keep them coming, guys. Um, I think that this is one of the special things as we're separated. We can't meet corporately, but they can't keep us from being together. Um, the more we share, post online, right? Hashtag RCC Live, post pictures. Um, it's more than just let's be cool and have a cool you know, social media game. 
It's about seeing each other and knowing that we're in this together. Um, so don't be shy. Um, don't be selfish. Share your thoughts. Share your pictures. Um, we need each other right now. James and Kalia wrote, This is great to be able to enjoy worship together. Though we are apart, this is so healing right now. God, thank you. Amen. For this healing time together. Another person wrote, He is always with us through the calm and the storm. Do not be afraid. What a great thing to hear God say to you. Do not be afraid. Another person said, I have faith and I am not afraid. I need to remember this constantly so that I'm not swayed. Isn't that wonderful? In the moment, I have faith. But in the next moment, I need to grab onto that again. I love that. I love that. This person said, the disciples questioning, do you even care? How many of you guys haven't felt that in this season? God, do you even care? It resonates with how a lot of people may be feeling right now. Where is God in this? He is near. And like Jesus, he is unfazed by all of this. He just asked us to be still. Hi, everyone. Justin here, tuning in. Thanks for this. Why are you afraid? Question. I feel this applies to what's going on globally and to my personal life. I can be afraid of the unknown, the constant change regarding what's going on in the world today, and being afraid of the things that hurt me the most in my personal life. But at the end of the day, remembering that God has all of these things in his hand. Amen, Justin. Thank you for sharing, buddy. This person wrote, Heather, thank you for the songs that you received from the Lord for worshiping today. And Pastor Kenny, thank you for the words spoken from God to calm our hearts. Amen. Thank you, God. From our beloved Brittany, Mine won't go through on the text line. <laughs> Maybe because it's linked with my number. Here it is. TMI. That was supposed to be private, just to me, I think. I never noticed that it says other boats were there. I didn't either. So good. Those other boats got to experience their storm change as well because the disciples asked Jesus to intervene. Ha! What a... Key th to think about that. We always think we're in the boat with Jesus, but think about how our neighbors and our neighborhoods are being affected by, by what God's doing in response to our prayers. So good. There's a ripple effect when God's people cry out to him. It doesn't just change our experience of the storm. It can change the experience of those around us too. B. Park, the girl one. That's what she wrote. Another person wrote, earlier the Lord gave me this. Oh, thank you for sharing this. We should be sharing what God's sharing with us. Psalm 27, 5. For he will conceal me in his shelter in the day of adversity. He will hide me under the cover of his tent. He will set me on a high rock. We do not shelter alone. He is in our boat. Write that again and grab onto that again later, guys. Psalm 27.5, a word given to one of ours from the Lord. Jesus calms the storm. Water listens to his command. Isn't that amazing? I feel confident that Jesus wants to communicate. He wants you to to remain assured in your faith that he can also calm the panic that people have fallen into because of the news. I feel like I want to read that again. We said maybe that God might speak to someone else through, through one of us. This might be just for you. If, if this is what you need to hear, listen. 
This is what the Lord says. Remain assured in your faith that he can also calm the panic that people have fallen into because of the news. It is okay to question as humans, but Jesus is truly at work. This person said, Oh, this is Brittany Park again. It did go through, Brittany. It just was a little bit delayed. I think that's all that we've gotten. If anyone sends me one right now, we'll get to it. I'll, I'll monitor it. Um, as we close, I have two announcements that I want to give to us and then a benediction. The first announcement, um, I've already shared plenty of times, but I want to share it again. This Sunday at 5 p.m., as of now, we're planning on doing a live stream just like we're doing right now. You can be assured that we're taking every precaution. We've, um, we've studied the governor's mandate and we believe that it allows for a live stream like this, um, specifically podcasts and media and things like that, um, that we think uh, apply to what we're doing here. So we're not breaking any laws. We feel like this is um, something that we're doing that is taking into consideration all that's going on and considering um, doing our part. And so, but we, we really believe that, that God um, wants the church to stay together. So as long as we can, we're gonna keep doing this 5 p.m. on Sunday. Also, we're gonna be launching online community groups. A couple of nights ago, I was tossing and turning and I couldn't sleep and I, I just asked God, God, Calm my storm right now, and what are you saying? And I felt very clearly that God, and normally I have a thousand ideas racing through my head. I don't know if you can relate, but I felt like all the ideas silenced, and I just heard, launch small groups. Get in small groups. And he gave me a passage and a little bit more to that, and I'm going to share that on Sunday. But for now, get in small groups. We've been working um, ever since that. Uh, we have a couple of teams working to facilitate some leaders and to, you'll be getting um, probably an email if you're on our list or you can go on our webpage. I'm not 100% sure if it's on right now, but by tomorrow, you'll be able to go on our webpage. You can try it tonight, remembrancecommunity.org. There'll be a link for online community groups. There's a place for you to sign up, give a little bit of information, and we're gonna try to get you connected. Um, my goal is that by Monday, we have groups up and running, if at all possible. Um, or soon after. Um, I just really believe, think about it. When there's all of us where you, someone's gonna, you, you rack your head and you think through everybody and who are we missing? If we get in groups of eight to 12 and we, and, we, and we regularly check in with each other. What a great way to, to care for each other, encourage each other, grow together, learn together. I just feel like this, if, if there was a Acts 2020, I mean, there is a, Chapter, tw uh, verse, chapter 20, verse 20, but like if there was a continuation to the year 2020, what would Acts look like? Online small groups for Remembrance Community Church. Other churches are probably doing other things, but that's what we feel like God's called us to. So please, 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 please join one of those. We really want you to. I got another one that came in. I want to read it. No evil will befall you nor will any plague come near your tent. For he will give his angels charge concerning you to guard you in all of your ways. Psalm 91, 10 through 11. So good. Oh, I just got an email. It's up. Go to our webpage right now, guys. If, if Remembrance is your home, or if you'd like Remembrance to be your home, if you don't have another home church, I want to be clear, if you have another home church, engage with what your church is doing. Engage with what your church is doing. But if you're a part of Remembrance Community Church, join an online group. And if you don't have a home church, now's a great time to join. We'd love to have you. And you can join one of our online groups. You can go to remembrancecommunity.org. There's a simple page and there's a link to online community groups. 
log in tonight. You would bless my heart if, if we just, if I woke up tomorrow morning and we just had a bunch of people signed up. Please, don't wait. Sign up. That's what God's calling us to, I believe. Let's see if we have any more. I want to leave you with a benediction from Jesus' brother. His name was Jude. He says, Now to him who, who is able to protect you from stumbling and to make you stand in the pre presence of his glory without blemish and with great joy, to the only God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ our Lord, be glory, majesty, power, and authority before all time, now and forever. Amen. See you all Sunday at 5 p.m. right here or wherever you're at. <laughs>